हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल दिस इज अनदर वीडियो ऑन एफ पी जे प्रो टाइपिंग एक्सपीरियंस वीडियो सीरीज वेर आई शेयर माई पर्सनल एक्सपीरियंस ऑन एफ पी जे प्रो टाइपिंग इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शेयर समथिंग विच इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रिगार्डिंग रैम इम्प्लीमेंटेशन वेन इट कम्स टू एफ पी जे डिजाइनर्स दे आर वेल अवेयर ऑफ द जारिंग टैम्पलेट्स समटाइम दे यूज बी रैम जनरेटर और समटाइम्स दे यूज एक्स पी एम मेमरी मॉड्यूल टैम्पलेट्स But when it comes to ASIC designers, it is very difficult for them to use Xilinx memory templates. Inside the ASIC designs, there are uncountable number of BRAMs, and multiple designers design them. Even the single designer does not have complete control over the complete system, so it is nearly impossible to replace all the RTL codes with the Xilinx provided templates. And that is the reason why Xilinx provides some very important gu guidelines to implement RAM. so that the same ram whatever is implemented in the asic domain can be mapped properly into the fpga domain as well friends those who want to know which document refers such type of design guidelines then i am referring ug901 and the title is vivado design suit user guide where it provides synthesis related design guidelines friends in this video i will illustrate two examples in the first example i will show you how we can implement ram with the help of a distributed memory when i say distributed memory inside the fpgas that means it can be a lat memory or it can be a distributed flip flops inside the fpgas but just for your information only those lats can be used For a distributed memory, which are located inside the slides M, but those LUTs cannot be used as a distributed memory, which are located in slides L. And in the second example, we will see how we can implement RAM with the help of dedicated block RAMs available inside the FPGAs. Friends, now let us discuss the first example where we will implement dual port RAM with the help of a distributed memory inside the FPGA. Module name is RAM underscore dist and ports are clock write enable address on port a dpra is the address on port b di is the input on port a spo is the output on port a dpo is the output on port b because i am including dual port memory so it has two ports port a and port b but on the second port i am not providing write mechanism only read is allowed on the second port clock write enable address a address dpra they all are input di is a input that is data input outputs are spo which is output of data on port a dpo output on port b now i am declaring a memory ram each of its location has a width of 16 bits and it has a depth of 64 always at the rate passage of the clock begin whenever write enable is high and whatever address we are giving and whatever data is available at the input di will go into ram a location this is how we write into the memory and now for the outputs spo and dpo output on first port spo equal to ram of a whatever address is given on port a the content of that address will go to spo now for dpo that is output of second port whatever address is available on second port that is through dpra the content of that address will go to dpo and this type of code will implement distributed memory now let me show you the vivado utilization report how much let count it has consumed to do so friends just now vivado has completed the synthesis and you are viewing the utilization report ram_dist is a module name and to implement this module vivado has consumed 32 lats out of 6 lakh 12000 lats it has also consumed 62 ios and one buff g for clock routing now let us see the second example where we will implement ram with the help of dedicated block rams available inside the fpgas then i will keep both the rtl codes side by side and i will point out the differences between the two friends in this second example we are going to implement the same dual port ram with the help of b rams available inside the fpgas 
module name i have given rams underscore bram and the ports will remain same whatever we saw in the previous example clock write enable address a address dpra input data di spo and dpo are the data outputs so similarly you can see input and outputs here i have declared ram having depth of 16 bits and depth of 64 always at the rate of passage of the clock whenever write enable is high ram a equal to di so the write mechanism is exactly same whatever we use in the distributed case also now instead of assign statement in the read case i am using always at the rate of passage of the clock begin spo that is the data output on the first port equal to ram of a and dpo equal to ram of dpra that means whatever is available on dpra will be available on dpo but i am using passage of the clock and for this particular rtl code viewardo is going to implement it with the help of brams friends since is of second module is just now completed where module name is rams underscore bram and this is consuming 0.5 bram tiles out of 1500 bram tiles i o consumed the 62 which is exactly same whatever was consumed in the previous example also and here also we are consuming one buff g control for clock routing now i will put both the codes side by side and i will point out the differences friends you can see both the codes side by side the first one is where we ha have implemented ram with the help of distributed memory and the second code where we have implemented ram with the help of bram module name is same input outputs are same ram declaration is same write mechanism is also same the only difference is in the read case now let us have a look on the read side whenever we implement ram with the help of distributed memory i am not flopping the output of the memory and whenever i am trying to implement ram with the help of dedicated block rams i am flopping the output data that is the only difference and with this difference i am able to implement one memory with the help of distributed memory and in the another case I am going to implement the same memory with the help of block RAMs. The only difference is I need to flop the output data. Friends, with this I am going to end this video and I hope that this would be quite informative for all of you. If you also like this video, please press the like button and share your feedback in the comment section. And in future also we are going to create many such videos. To be aligned with our channel, don't forget to subscribe it and press the bell icon to get the notification of all the upcoming videos. Thank you so much for watching.